welcome back nail queens. Today I am switching it up and I'm doing some stamping nail art. I haven't done this in a long time on my channel it feels like. So I'm very excited to do this. I got two new clear jelly stamper plates in the mail. I ordered them like a couple weeks ago and they are finally here and I'm excited to show these plates to you. I really love the mod live series plates from clear jelly stamper like they're minimalistic boho those styles i really love their plates and these plates are ginormous and they all come with a card that shows you exactly like what the end result can be of the designs that you're working with and if you flip the card around it actually shows you how to do the layering so a lot of the plates that i purchased today or not today but i received in the mail are layering plates that means you have to stamp multiple times to get the designs that you want it's not just a one and done so i really do love the claire jelly stamper layering plates i know how confusing they can be but i love that they include these diagrams right here on this backing card so that you can learn how to do it yourself and it makes it really simple so in order to get started, I have to remove the blue protective film that prevents these plates from having scratches on them in transit. And the plates today had two layers of film. They usually only come with one. So if your plate is still blue, when you remove one layer of film, you probably have another layer of film on there. And to tell you guys like what I'm wearing on my hands, I'm actually wearing a dip powder by Nail Boo. It's called Sunset Star. It's a very vibrant orange. I don't know. I really like this color. And I'm wearing a gel polish. It's called P9. It's a pearly gel polish from Triple D. I'm going to be stamping on top of the gel polish today. I already applied the gel polish, cured it, all the things. I just wanted to get straight into the stamping, but I wanted to let you know what was already on my hands. So upon reviewing this plate, I think the circles that I was looking to do my stamping, they're a little too small for what I wanted to do. So I'm actually going to pull out a plate that I purchased last year from Clear Jelly Stamper. It is CJS153. It is part of their Mod Live Series stamping plates. I really love the stamping plate. And you can see here that these little circles are a little bit larger than the ones on the first plate that I was showing you. So I'm just going to get started and I'm going to start stamping with one of the blues that I have. I have a whole array of stamping polishes from Clear Jelly Stamper. So all of the colors I'm going to be using today are going to be from Clear Jelly Stamper. Like A to Z, almost everything is from them. And they are very small, tiny little bottles of stamping polishes and there's just something I really like about it because it makes it so easy to store them. So now I have the design on my stamper and I'm going to transfer it to my nails just simply by gently pressing it onto my nail like that, rolling it around a little and bada bing bada boom it's on my nails now. So I want to do this multiple times with different colors. Actually let me guys show you guys like my inspiration. I am literally basically copying a design that Katie Dutra, so Nails by Katie Dutra on Instagram and YouTube did a few months back. I fell in love with it, y'all. I fell in love with it. She is so talented. So I was like, I want to recreate this with these stamping designs. I'm pretty sure she used all gel and freehanded it herself. The design is very much so coming together. I know the orange doesn't match that well to the orange on my nails. Unfortunately, I didn't have a stamping polish that matched it, but um, I mean, I'll live. I'll live. It'll be fine. So I'm literally just trying to place all of the colors in the areas that Katie Dutra did on the design she did on her client. So that is literally what I'm following. I'm following the inspiration practically to the T. I understand the shapes are not going to be identical, but it's like 
the essence of it is basically what I'm trying to copy. So that is it. Also, I noticed that I somehow messed up the orange on my middle finger. So I'm just going to clean my plate and I'm going to double stamp, meaning I'm going to stamp right on top of the orange that I already have on it. I didn't want to just take um, acetone and remove everything and start over. So I'm literally taking the same design I had previously placed here and the same stamping polish and I'm double layering it. And I actually am glad that this happened because it darkened the orange, making it get a closer match to what I have on my dip powder on the solid nails. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the other design that's orange and I'm going to double stamp and layer that as well to make the polish seem darker. So now that all of the colored part is done, I get to go in with the black stamping polish and do the details that Katie Dutra did in black. So here are some little dots that have no rhyme or reason, and they're similar to what she has on her client's nails. So I'm going to stamp those on both of my fingers, and then we're going to get into the leaf designs. This stamping plate is perfect. It has so many different leaf designs. So depending on your mood or the vibe that you're going for, you can get any design you really want. So I'm going to go with two different designs that are right next to each other. They're pretty similar, but different at the same time. So I'm just going to stamp these on one of my nails and then do the other design on the other nail. So I noticed this is not going in the same direction that Katie Jutras did, but that's because this is the direction the leaf was going in and I didn't feel like doing the extra work that it would take to change the direction. So now I'm going in with the one on the right and I'm gonna stamp that on my nails and then I'm just gonna have to top coat. I'm like basically almost done. I'm so excited with how this is turning out. I love this. This is so freaking cute. And just imagine like swapping out the colors for other things. I have done something similar to this in the past. Actually, let me go find the photo and share it with you guys. I'm actually going to apply a gel top coat on top of this because I do have a gel polish on my nails. And if you float on the gel and you don't do too many brush strokes, it will not smudge your stamping polish. So I'm going to let the stamping polish air dry and then I'm going to put on my gel top coat. My top coat is on and it's just like basically drying until I put like some cuticle oil on. I give it about a minute or two before I do that. So now I'm going to move on to cleaning my supplies and I figured it'd be a perfect time to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm taking a lint roller and I'm rubbing it over the clear jelly stamper heads to remove any polish, any lint, any like fingerprints or anything that could be on them. So you can use tape or lint rollers. Those help and get rid of any mess and get your stampers looking nice and pretty again. So this one actually has two stamper heads, one on the top, one on the bottom. The bottom one I don't really ever use, but you can remove the bottom so that you can see right through the clear jelly stamper and see what you're doing when you're stamping. So the next thing I have is the scraper card. I've had this for as long as I've been stamping. This is when Maniology used to be called Bundle Monster, and that was years ago. So that's telling you how long I've been doing stamping for. And then here are the polishes that I used. I'll make sure to list them in the description box below, but I'm going to put them back in the container that I had them in. I bought this kit off of Claire Jelly Stamper's website. They have pre-made kits, but you can also build your own so it comes with this case. So I'm just putting them back where I pulled them from. And I love that Claire Jelly Stamper is expanding their stamping polish line because they have so many other kits but don't worry if you don't like kits like this you can actually buy all of the stamping polishes individually so you don't have to get something like this you don't have to spend money on a big kit like this so I really like how small and compact they are and again like I mentioned before the stamping plate I used is CJS 153 I'll have that linked down below as well and I want to show you guys some two new things that are on the clear jelly stamper website that I ordered with the stamping plate that I brought up in the beginning of this video these are glow stamping polishes 
is. This was sold as a two pack and it's funny it doesn't say glow for some reason it says grow so I guess there was a typo there but they are glow stamping polishes trust me I'll show you a photo of them glowing on my desk in the middle of the day. So that is basically it for my haul for the most part. Um, let me put like it has a tint to it so I'm like is this like clear glow? Is it tinted glow? So it does have like a little tint. I wonder if it dries clear. I would not be surprised if it does but it feels kind of grainy and that's probably due to the glow pigment. So I want to show you guys a little hack as well. I'm going to put cuticle oil on my nails right now around my cuticles real quick but I mean it's not a hack but it's like how to troubleshoot. So I noticed that I have orange polish on my ring finger so I'm going to take a angled cleanup brush and some acetone now that the polish is completely dry and I just like brush away the polish with acetone that is so easy so easy to do cleanup I think it's easier to do cleanup once the polish is dry versus once it's like freshly wet just in my opinion so that is it for today guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye Keep your bitter. I'ma make a better way. Cause I've been working on.